Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I am Alicia Richard and I would like to say thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, what I will be talking about is the frequently asked questions that I get all of the time about my sister locks because people really, really, really tend to love my hair and I just love sister locks and I love the journey. So I am going to ask all of the frequently asked questions that I get all of the time and I do have my handy dandy notebook here with all of my questions that people normally ask me. So question number one, um, how long did I have my locks? Well, I've had my locks, it'll be three years. Um, I decided that I wanted to get my sister locks for my 30th birthday. So it'll be thir three years in May since I've had my sister locks. The next question that I normally get is how often do I get a retightening? So I normally go about once a month, like every five weeks to my loctician and let her retighten my hair. It normally takes her about two hours and um, it only takes her about two hours and that's it. Then I am good to go. The next question is how long did it take for me to actually get my sister locks in? So it took um, my loctician two days and it took her 14 hours. So I was sitting in a chair for like seven hours at a time. And I think we started at maybe like um, seven o'clock that morning. And then the next day we did like seven o'clock that morning as well. So it took her about uh, 14 hours and I'll see if I could find some video of when I first got my locks in um, about like how long it took and how, the, how they looked after the first time. The next question that I normally get is like, who did my locks or how did I choose my loctician? So I'll do, how did I choose the person that I want to do my locks? Now, I will tell you, according to my lo location, at the time when I got my locks, the closest location was either Charleston, um, Columbia, and it was either Charleston, Columbia, or Charlotte, but there was no one locally three years ago, like two and a half years ago, that was in like the Georgetown area that was actually doing locks. Nobody, like nobody. So when I got my locks, um, the next place would, would have had to been either Charleston or Mox Corner for me because that was the closest. So I decided to start it calling around. Of course, you can go on the Sister Locks website and you could see like, you know, like who all are the locticians in your area. So I just started calling people. Well, when I started calling, if someone was like, um, when I asked the question, like, how much do you charge? And they'll be like, oh, well, it depends. Or, you know, like, how long have you been doing hair? Oh, well, I, you know, am not a hairstylist. It, it really just depends. But for me, I wanted someone that was already a beautician as well and was a sister lock consultant. I wanted both because I knew that I wanted my hair to be colored at some point in time. I knew that, um, I knew that I wanted someone that knew about hair and that knew what they were doing. Like you can become a sister lock consultant without being a professional cosmetologist, but I wanted someone that was both. <laughs> Cause if you gonna be in my head, you gotta know both. So um, I wanted someone also that already had locks because with someone that having the knowledge of locks and were already doing locks for a certain amount of time, I wanted someone that was experienced. I wanted someone that was already a sister lock consultant and I wanted someone that was a professional cosmetologist. Those are my three requirements. Now you all may choose to do, you know, something else with somebody else, but I'm just saying what my experience was and how I chose the person because I called around place after place after place after place until I finally talked to someone and it felt like my personality and her personality kind of just meshed. And I was like, sweet baby Jesus, we are in this thing together. So that's how I chose the person that does my locks. Someone that was a professional, not just as a sister locks consultant, but someone that was a, also a professional cosmetologist. Um, the next thing is I get the question of, can you unloose your locks? To me, no, I would never try to unloose my sister locks. This was a commitment. Um, I actually went from having permed hair, then I went to having natural hair for like eight years. I used to rock twist outs, blowouts. I used to do all kinds of things with my natural hair, but I feel like sister locks is like, a, when you decide to do sister locks, it's a level of commitment, 
but it's also to me this is my personal experience it's also it it is also something about growth and commitment and when you decide that you want to do locks yes it's a part of the journey to me i think that you would go now this is my opinion and this ain't on the paper this ain't on the paper but i'm just i just want to explain um i truly feel like once you get locks any kind of locks it's almost like a certain level of evolving to me i feel like you already done like all of the other stages now you have evolved to like you know something that you decide that you just want to be like a better woman a better person you are you are committed so to me um it's something that is just it's just the commitment factor and i like that so i've tried all the styles all the styles i've had short hair long hair um permed hair uh natural hair for eight years i've done it all and now with my sister locks i this is a style at this time and at the pace that my career is going that i chose that i like it because of the convenience and many other reasons um the next thing is how often do i wash my hair people ask me that all the time well normally i work out at least right now at least five days a week so my hair gets stink. <laughs> and my husband's like, mm, Leisha, you need to wash your hair, boo, because your hair smells stink. So I do sweat a lot. Um, and there are some places where my locks do kind of do come out after two years. So I normally wash my hair at least like every other week, sometimes every week. It really just depends on the smell. But I do, um, I do wash my hair very often. And the next thing is, oh yeah, so that's pretty much it. So um, I, I have never counted how many locks I had in my hair. To me, that does not matter. My thing with locks is it's so convenient. Like I could just part my hair and just do whatever. I don't have to worry about nothing. Um, I really love the convenience of it. So if you are thinking about sister locks, let me tell you, girl, and you are tired. Look, this is about to be a little commercial. Are you tired of combs and brushes? Are you tired of trying to figure out what style you want to do with your hair? Are you tired of wigs and weaves? Are you tired of waiting in long lines trying to get your hair done? Are you tired of, oh, uh, what's the next one? Are you tired of trying to figure out whether you want Remy weaves or crochet or box braids? Are you tired of waiting in the salon trying to get your hair done? Well, girl, let me tell you, sister locks are for you. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a part of this but look um if you are tired like if you have legit got to the place where you are just tired of you know the ups and downs of all the things about hair i would say get sister locks um one of the reasons why i chose sister locks is because of the convenience um and i do have another video about that where i talk about like the convenience of sister locks so and plus, I am on a journey of living a rich life. And living a rich life to me is not just being rich in my mind, body, soul, business, but it also means being rich in my hair. Um, so anyway, this video is getting way too long. But if you like anything that I've said, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Also, let me tell you, boo, I have a podcast and it's called A Rich Life Podcast where we enrich, encourage, and inspire you to live a life of your dreams. So not only do we talk about goal setting, not only do we talk about the convenience of hair and all of that stuff, motherhood, being a wife, but if you want a place where you could just like hang out while you driving, you can like listen into some, start listening to some encouraging words. Girl, let me tell you, a rich life is where you need to be so thank you so much for viewing this video of um, please consider getting sister locks because i absolutely love mine let me go and turn my turn my hair around so you can see the front and the back <laughs> so yes this is a, a two-year journey it will make um three years for me in 2020 so i'm very excited to see how this journey goes i'm very excited about you and how you choose to you know do your hair whatever style that is just be confident in who you are and whatever style that you do but for me i chose sister locks if you want to know where you can find me you can find me at www.arichlife.co you can find me there you can find me on instagram at arichlife.co and you can also find me on facebook at arichlife.co and let's never forget tiktok because we dance over there too every now and then at arichlife.co Thank you so much for viewing this video and I can't wait to see how you all are embracing and living a rich life. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.